Welcome back to the program Sustain and Innovate. We are pleased to show you now another video. Um, it's uh, from Imbotex. Similar to the principle we are what we eat, the same applies to the clothes we wear. At least that's what Francesca Finciati from Imbotex claims and explains us in the following video. She also knows that living a fully sustainable lifestyle is not always easy. Environmentally friendly alternatives to fast fashion in the textile industry are all the more important. Thanks to a patented mechanical process that wastes few resources, it has been possible to manufacture insulation from existing materials, 100% made in Italy. We are excited to learn more about this great material. Francesca is available in the chat to answer all your questions, so feel free to use the chat function at the homepage. Hello everybody, I'm Francesca from the sales department of Imbotex. Uh, first of all, thank you to Performance Day for the great opportunity. It's really nice to be here today virtually. Uh, but before going to my talk, that you will have enough till the end, believe me, uh, let me please introduce Roberta, one of the owners and COO of the company, that will tell us a really beautiful story. Hi everyone, very nice to be here. Our company was founded in 1955 by my parents and this year we celebrated its 65th anniversary. We are located in Cittadella, an historical walled town near Venice in the northeast of Italy and from the 80s our company has been run only by women. In these last few years the theme of recycling has become not only more important but also necessary to the preservation of the environment and the Imbotex was already ready. As a matter of fact, recycling has always been a core part of our company's DNA. Since the beginning, we collected scraps from local textile companies and reused them to produce millefiori, a dark multicolored wadding. Our main, it was our main product to fill the mattresses. Betty was our historical business division but in the last 10 years, uh, we invested uh, a lot in technologies uh, and replaced the old machinery with new ones. In this way, we added a new division focused on high-end uh, insulations, mainly for fashion and sportswear industries. These two sectors work together through a continuous exchange of production technologies and know-how. Thank you, Roberta. Um, you have to know that I am part of the Imbotex team, I'd rather say family, for one year. And the Mille Fiori story, Mille Fiori in English stands for a thousand flowers. And its story really fascinated and attracted me a lot when I first listened to it. I've got this here uh, of the famous Mille Fiori. You can see the dark and, and multicolored wadding. And I think it's, it's not only a piece of history, but also, and above all, an ancestral idea of recycling. It shows how sustainability has always been part of the Imbotex philosophy uh, since the beginning of its, of its beautiful story. Um, I think that we, we really have to protect and defend its memory as a treasure uh, in order to get continuously inspired by it. When I first entered the company, uh, what attracted me to uh, is, is the production department. The, produ the production is 100% made in Italy here in our headquarters in, uh, in Cittadella and it's really low waste, uh, low waste production uh, in the sense that uh, the, the process involves only mechanical processes and that, that is low impact on the environment in terms of energy consumption, uh, water usage, uh, actually, there's no use of water at all, and emissions. Moreover, there is a continuous recycling of materials in the sense that all the production scraps are collected, recollected, uh, and then remixed and re reused again in order uh, to give life to new, to do other products. And this really leads to a quite zero waste uh, production process. 
Uh, less impact means respect of the future, respect for the future, respect for future generation, for next generation. And I'm observing uh, that people are more and more conscious and pay attention to what they buy. Uh, they want to know the story behind. Uh, they want to know who made what and how. Uh, they are really sensitive to this and to their choices and impact. Um, I mean, in what they are putting their money in, what they are sponsorizing, what they are kind of invest their money in what they are buying. And this approach regards, of course, the textile industry uh, and, and clothing, uh, in the sense that we are rethinking, in the way that we are rethinking uh, the way of choosing and buying our clothes. We are what we wear, it's like we are what we eat, isn't it? It's the same concept. Um, it, it means uh, that every, I mean, every step we take, every choice we make, uh, it's significant, has a value and has consequences. And that's why a circular economy approach is needed in order to create a closed loop system. We believe in this. We not only want uh, to be responsible in uh, how we produce our products, but also uh, in uh, what we can offer to our clients that we'll be able to offer to their clients. Um, but before going on talking about our products, uh, I would like to underline that we, we have the uh, GRS certification and a lot of our products has 100% of recycled content. Okay, so. From Mille Fiori, uh, the evolution led to Rekashmir. Rekashmir is a post consuming insulation. So we take uh, old cashmere sweaters, uh, we collect them, uh, sanitize, cut, and garnet it in order to have uh, uh, again a fiber that is uh, blended uh, with a PLA fiber. Um, this uh, post consume uh, insulation get uh, several prices at uh, uh, Performance Day Sue and was the uh, best product at ISPO in the past. So, Mille Fiori, Re Cashmere, now we have to talk about our Nativa silk pad. Uh, Nativa is a post industrial insulation. Uh, so, uh, we take yarns waste first from the twisting silk threads. Then, from the end of the cones, during the silk fabrics production, uh, we take this precious waste, we degummed with a soapy solution, and we have this fiber that can be reused, uh, and we blended it with uh, recycled polyester. So we got a hundred percent GRS certified um, insulation. Nativa uh, can be considered a new active, active worm insulation with enhanced technical performances that allows air exchange for breathability, thermoregulation uh, and comfort during also sport activities. We, we liked this idea of recycling, or better upcycling, so much that in uh, 2019 we, uh, we founded a new branch of the company that is Imbotex Lab. Imbotex Lab is uh, um, totally focused on the circular economy concept. We patented a process um, based on innovative technologies that is split in three steps. The first step is the collection of uh, uh, scraps from the production of coats and not only from Italian fashion companies. And we take these precious waste uh, in old coffee Utah bags, so the packaging is sustainable. The second step is the transformation of these scraps into very fine fibers that are ready to be blended again uh, with recycled polyester. So uh, this uh, Imbotex Labs uh, family of lightweight exclusive uh, insulations is composed by two different products, Camelux and Luxpad. Uh, we can see here the three different steps of both the products. So, uh, Camelux, the scraps from camel hair fabrics, then the fibers, and uh, the final beautiful insulation. And the same for Luxpad, so uh, cashmere fabrics, the scraps, then the fiber, and 
first step, the insulation that is ready to be to give new life to other beautiful clothes. Okay, so for further info or details, uh, have a look at our websites inbotex.it and inbotexlab.com. Uh, stay tuned on our social uh, pages too because other beautiful surprises are coming. Thank you everybody for your time and attention. Thank you to Performance Days again for the great opportunity and have you all a very wonderful Christmas. Bye!